Hello everyone, today I will share with you a simpler and more effective method than the method I shared before to install the native Google GMS. We will use a new tool to help us to install the Google GMS. The method is suitable for the latest version of Harmony OS 2 of Huawei mobile phone such as Mate 30, Mate 40, P40, P50, Honor V30, Nova 6, etc. First of all, you need to upgrade your mobile phone Harmony OS 2 to the latest version. The method shown in this video is to install the native Google GMS on the latest version of Harmony OS 2. The operation steps are very simple. Just follow the steps in this video and you will definitely succeed. OK, let's go. OK, now welcome to my Huawei phone desktop. First, let's check the settings and go back to the system and update. To check the software update, click this one to check your Harmony OS 2 is on the latest version. If you are not on the latest version, you can check for the update to upgrade to the latest version of the Harmony OS 2. See, uh, my uh, Harmony OS is your software is up to date, which means my mobile phone is using the current latest Harmony OS 2. So you need to uh, upgrade your Harmony OS to the latest version. After finish the upgrade, then we go back and let's go back to the AP app guard here this one we need to switch off the app guard this one app guard click the disable disable the app guard click disable and there's a, a pop-up window lock screen pin if you have lock screen pin then you need to key in your lock screen password my I, so i will key in my lock screen password okay after keying the last uh, my lock screen password this app guard was disabled okay after finish that then we go back and go to the about phone here this one and we needed to ki cl click the build number for seven times to open the developer mode okay that's one one two three four five six Seven. Then if you have your uh, lock screen uh, password, then you need to, to key in your lock screen password. For me, I will key in my lock screen password. If you have no password, no need to key in. You are now a developer. You can see this uh, pop-up um, character, uh, pop-up word said you are now developer in the developer mode. Okay, go back, then go to the system update here and go down. You will see the developer option here, developer option we go to the developer options and go scroll down to enable the usb debugging here usb debugging enabled and always prompt when connecting to usb opened and uh, monitor apps installed by adb we needed to switch it off and allow adb debugging in charge only mode here we need to enable this one click ok so three options USB debugging enabled and always prompt when connecting to USB enabled and allow ADB debugging in charge only mode enabled. Okay, now we already finished the settings on the mobile phone. Then we needed to connect the cable with our PC with the USB uh, cable to connect with your PC. Here, I will connect with my PC. Connected. Okay, so now uh, we will choose the transfer file this mode transfer file so if you see a pop-up window said you you needed to trust your pc then you need to tick that tick tick that and click ok if you see that pop-up window okay for me i didn't see the pop-up window so i will put my mobile phone aside and the next step is on our pc so you can see this website uh, i will down download you need to download the huagu pc this uh, zip file onto your pc then we will new, need to use this uh, new tool huagu pc this tool to downgrade the backup app on your uh, mobile phone okay because i already downloaded this uh, uh, file so i don't need to download again for you you need to click this blue button to download this uh, huagu pc file zip file the size is around 19 uh, megabyte and i will also paste this uh, a web link down below down below this video description so you can click this link to download this uh, huagu pc this uh, zip file okay let's go to my folder because i already downloaded here on the for this folder i already downloaded a zip file huagu pc zip file then i will right click to unzip this uh, zip file onto my uh, pc here extract to here 
Okay, so I already extracted the Huagu PC. Then I double click to go into this folder and uh, to double click the last, uh, the last two, this one, this uh, app. So let's double click this to run this uh, app to downgrade this uh, uh, ba old ba backup to install the old backup. And you will see the first time after before you run this um, app, after you click this app, and the, then you will see there's a pop-up window and to trust this PC, you need to pop-up click the tick in and uh, click OK to trust this PC. Okay, after you trust this PC, then we put our mobile phone aside and uh, and we you can see if the first round will be hanging, this app will be hanging, but no problem. We can close this app, close it, close the program, and we can rerun this app again. It will work perfectly. Just wait for several seconds after close it, and you need to double click this app, and you will see this app will work. So you can see here, there's a serial number will be displayed here, which means your mobile phone and your PC was connected successfully. So mobile phone connect with your PC successfully. Then we will install the downgrade backup app into your Huawei mobile phone. This process is important. So, okay, let's click the install. Okay, just wait for several seconds. Um, it said only, it said wait one minute, but normally it don't need one minute. Okay, you can see success. So success, let's click OK. So now all the work on the PC side are finished. So now all next, all the outstanding works are only on our mobile phone. So now we will, uh, we will unplug our cable with the PC. So we already finished all the work on our PC. Now next step, we will all the do all the works on our piece on our mobile phone. Okay, now next we will go back to our desktop. Then we click this browser, this internal browser of the Harmony OS 2. So click this browser, web browser, and open this web link. I will also put this web link down below this video description for you to download this uh, app. So after I click this uh, web link, then we can open this web and to download uh, Huagu 2 English, this app. This app is important. All the outstanding process are using this uh, app. Okay, then we click this uh, blue button to download this app. Okay, you can see download. Click this download button, then we will download. It will take several minutes if your speed is slow. Okay, we just uh, wait patiently. Okay, the download is finished, and after the finished download, it will automatically open the installation process. So now we click allow to allow this uh, installation of the Huagu, this uh, assistant uh, application. Okay, click install to install the Huagu application, and then we will use the Huagu uh, tool to install the Google GMS. Okay, let's click done. Okay, then let's go back to our desktop. So now you see the Huagu application is already there, then we click open the Huagu application and cl now click allow, click sure to give this uh, allow usage access, click enable these uh, uh, authorities and OK, then we go back. Then we will uh, use this uh, process, step one, step two to step nine uh, to finish the whole process. It's very easy and all the steps are automatically to install the Google GMS. OK, now let's start our process of the first step. Click the first step, which means clear the Google app data, which means if you previously installed the Google GMS and failed, those applications uh, needed to be uh, uninstalled with this step one. will help you to uninstall all those uh, applications uh, uh, which you used um, before. Okay, I click the step one. If you fail, if, if there's any warning said it cannot be install, uninstalled the applications, then you need to manually uninstall all the applications you installed before for the Google GMS. Okay, the f for me, I have not yet installed the Google GMS previously, so I step one passed immediately. Okay, then I go to the step two, click modify the system time to July 10th, 2020. July 10th, 2020, click that one and switch off the automatic time and the 2020, July 10, let's go back to the July, July 10, okay, July 10, 2020, okay, finished, click OK, then the time is 
change 2020 July 10. Let's go back and then you can see the step two finished. Then we go to step three, open the backup and restore the from internal storage. Click step three and click agree. Agree this backup and click allow, allow, allow. And go to allow only while in use. Allow, allow, allow. Click OK. Then we click four dots above top here, four dots. And you can see there's no uh, restore from the backup. OK, then we, we can go back to go back, go back again and click step three again and go to the four dots again here. Now you can see restore from internal storage. Then we click this restore from the internal storage and click the click the backup records, click that one and click restore here. Click restore and key in the password. The password is just down below A123. A123456768. Just down below here. And click OK. So your your uh, backup data will be uh, restored and click done. OK, then click go back, go back. You can see step three is finished. Then step four, activate Google a service assistant. Let's click this one, step four. And you can see the G assistant over there. Click activate, click activate and click allow. OK, perfect. Then you need, don't need to click this button. No need to do anything here. And you just go back. Everything seems perfect and go back go back click here sure and uh, step four finished successfully let's go to step five restore the system time and change it to automatic setting let's go to the step five and go to the set automatically switch this on set automatically then we go back and let's go to the step six install micro g and log in to google account let's go to the step six Okay, perfect. Let's go to allow, click allow, click install. Everything seems very perfect. Then let's go to open. And as you can see, account. We are using this account to log in here and click sign in. Okay, first time crashes, no problem. We, we try it again, a second time. Click uh, account and sign in. Okay, perfect. We will key in the Google Gmail Gmail account. Okay, our, after our account Gmail account key in, click next. Okay, then key in your Gmail account password. After key in the password, click next. Okay, then click I agree. Okay, we finished logging our Google account and here click cancel. Here, if you have uh, your number two, number three, number five Google account, then you can repeat your process of uh, this account. Repeat the process and you can log into a several Google account. For me, I only have one Google account, so I just uh, cancel. I just go back here, go back. So you can see the number six step is finished. Then we go to number seven, install multiple Google apps. This process are all automatically. So you just uh, according to this uh, uh, tutorial. Yeah, okay, click number seven. Now install, allow, install, done, install, allow, install, done install allow install done install allow install done install allow install done install allow install done okay step three seven is finished automatically then we will use step eight to uninstall the micro g here click uninstall micro g here click ok yeah click uninstalled and the number a eight finished and the number seven step install google play service click number seven click allow click install okay click done okay so for me i'm, I'm using the huawei nova 6 all the process from 9 to 
from 1 to 9, it's finished, and all the process is finished for me. I have no uh, pop-up window. The warning said my, my mobile phone is not Google Play certified for me. I don't have these warnings. So if you have the warnings of your, of the, uh, of the warnings of your device is not Google Play certified, uh, Google Play Protect certified, then you can refer to my previous video link. I will put the, pre, uh, the link down below this video description for you to, uh, to fix this uh, error warning of your device is not Google Play uh, Protect certified. You can uh, see the uh, video link down below this video description to fix that error. Okay, for me, I finished all, everything on my mobile phone and everything works perfect. Then I will go back to my desktop. You can see the Google Play Store is already there. And we can go to the settings here, the settings, and you can see my Google's already there, Google account already there. Then click this one and you can see your Google account is already logged in. And we go back and let's have a look at the users and account here. User account, the Google account already here. And click Google account and go to the account setting. You can sync contact, click this switch on. Sync people details, switch on. Okay, let's go back and we go to the Play Store to open the Play Store. Yeah, the Play Store can be opened successfully. Perfect. Then let's have a try to uh, download the YouTube, to install the YouTube, to have a look. Tube. Search. Okay, the YouTube is here. Let's go to install the YouTube. Click this install. Okay, we now finished the download and installation of the YouTube in onto my mobile phone, Huawei mobile phone. Okay, let's go back to the desktop. You can see the YouTube is already there. Then we click the YouTube to have a look, to see if YouTube can be opened successfully or not. Yeah, okay, perfect. You can see the Google uh, YouTube can be opened successfully and you can see the videos can, can be played easily on the screenshot and the screen. And for my process, all the process is finished. Uh, everything fi uh, works perfect. So uh, this is the uh, simple, simple, uh, this is this process is more simpler and easy way for you with the assistant tool of the Huagu uh, applications. All the uh, process are the automatically according to its instructions. So if you like my sharing, don't forget to sum up and subscribe to the channel to avoid missing future updates. See you next time. Bye bye.